The U.S. oil futures plunged below zero for the first time on Monday as concerns that the U.S. crude storage will soon be full exploded. Also, Monday, China cut its benchmark lending rate as expected. We found out that Canadian home prices climbed in March. China's fiscal revenue tumbled 26.1% in March and the Eurozone's trade surplus with the rest of the world grew in February. Meanwhile, Bank of England said that Britain's economy might be slow to recover once the government relaxes its coronavirus lockdown. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniela, founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Tuesday, we'll be looking at the Eurozone and Germans zoo surveys. But today, I'm looking at the pound yen pair as it has just broken below the Ichimoku cloud on the four hour chart with the future cloud turning bearish. After consolidating below the 135 resistance level for a couple of weeks, this could be a sign that the bears are finally regaining power to shift the trend. With this, we could expect the pair to drop to as low as 131 in the coming weeks. Do you think this is a false bearish signal? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves the risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.